Hi everyone, it's been a while since my last video. I'm in a new apartment as you can see. I'm trying to get used to it here. It is actually raining outside, so you might hear some background noise. I'll try to clean up the video as much as possible. But without further ado, let's go to the today's topic. And today I would like to talk to you about fear of rejection, people pleasing and loneliness. I would argue that all of those things are interconnected. I would start by saying that people who tend to please others are afraid of rejection. They crave for other people's acceptance. They try to meet other people's expectations. They are very much afraid of other people's thoughts and judgments about them and they try to meet other people's needs and preferences and expectations at the cost of their own. And this creates a betrayal of yourself because when you are around people, you are not being yourself and you are betraying your own needs and preferences to meet other people's needs and preferences and you are doing this because you are trying to protect yourself from unprocessed uh, ancient abandonment and neglect you have suffered from your caregivers and this also sometimes creates a circle in your adult life because you feel lonely you want to connect with people and then you go and socialize but since your socialization process involves meeting other people's needs and expectations and wearing a mask, you are not being yourself. Therefore, you can't connect with other people on a deeper level because you are not being yourself. You are not being vulnerable. You are not being honest and open about your virtues, about your values, about your worldview, about your needs and preferences. You are not very strict with your boundaries and therefore when you are around people there is no real you therefore people can't connect with the real you and you can't connect with the real you can't connect with other people people can't see the real you you might be liked by some people because you meet their needs they might appreciate that and see oh and say that oh this person is very nice they are very nice, they are very helpful, they are very generous, they are very um, unselfish, if that makes sense. But you are betraying yourself if you are doing all of this at the expense, at the cost of your own needs and preferences and virtues and values at your own true self. And if you socialize when you feel lonely and you are not being yourself, the circle leads back to feeling lonely. And I would argue that the worst kind of loneliness is when you feel lonely when you are around people because factually you are not alone. Physically there are people around you in this scenario, but you are feeling lonely. This can create a huge feeling of frustration and helplessness because you are around people, yet you feel very lonely. 